Now, you may have the sense that higher education in this country is out of control and that most undergraduate humanities courses are totally worthless at best. And of course, you're right. But what does that mean specifically? What are they actually teaching your kids? Well, here's one example. A self-described non-binary assistant professor at Old Dominion University, we have no idea what that means, by the way, but that's this person calls him or herself. Professor's called Alan Walker is now teaching students to use a term called MAP. What does that mean? It means minor attracted persons. Why use that phrase? Because according to the professor, it is less stigmatizing to pedophiles. I use the term minor attracted person or MAP uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and MAP advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term MAP. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms like pedophile. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear the term pedophile, they automatically assume that it means a sex offender. Uh, and that isn't true, and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors. Yeah, God, you wouldn't want to stigmatize pedophiles. So the problem in this case is Professor Alan Walker let that get onto the internet somehow. And so Old Dominion University was busted. People found out what they were actually teaching. So the university put that individual on leave. But there's a lot of this stuff that you never hear about. Francie Hakes is a former federal prosecutor. She joins us tonight. Francie, thanks so much for coming on. This does feel like the new frontier. You'll notice there was a bug on that video from a foundation, apparently, that hosted that video. I think it's in favor of all this stuff. Um, so this seems like it's a maybe small but growing movement to regularize pedophilia. Well, it is, Tucker. I'm sure murderers, for example, would like to be called people who hasten others' demise because it sounds nicer. I mean, I do not yeah. understand where this professor is coming from. I can't imagine that the taxpayers in Virginia are paying the salary of this person. Are they paying for the research that was done for this book? Are they paying for the book somehow? I think their money would have been far better spent if they were to donate that amount of money that they're paying this professor, that they're paying for this kind of research and this nonsensical claim that if we just are nicer to pedophiles, I guess the world will be a better place. Why don't they donate the money to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children or Darkness to Light? What they completely discount here in their interviews with all of these pedophiles who are supposedly non-offending is that child sexual abuse is only reported at a maximum 25% of the time. So that's at least 75% of children who are being abused are never, ever counted. They are never found, they are never rescued, they are never identified. And so I'd like to know where this Allen person found these pedophiles who were supposedly non-offending, because I can virtually guarantee you some of them well, of are offending against children. And this is a slippery slope. Oh. If you suddenly normalize pedophilia, what are you going to get, Tucker? More of it. If you allow shoplifting, well, what do you no. get? More of it. If you allow looting, what do you get? More of it. And that's exactly where we're headed here.